How's your new place in Austin doing? You have a place, you live with your girlfriend, you're here. Yeah, it's going good. I've been, I think I've told you, I've been eating now a bunch of the raisin swirl bread. Oh, yeah, you got, you got, he got a joke, I just love it. And got addicted to H E B raisin swirl bread, everybody. So he literally is just plowing through raisin bread like some kind of dirty junkie. He can't get enough of the raisin bread. How many raisin breads are you going through? Uh, probably two loaves a week. <laughs> With a bunch of melted butter on top. It is so good. <laughs> Multiple loaves yeah. per week, ladies and gentlemen. You deserve it, dude. <laughs> I do deserve fucking it. deserve it. You stop. You stop. I fucking, do fucking yeah. deserve it. I'm going to keep eating it. And yeah, I got really? real fucking high before this. I'm literally freaking out a little. Really? You have a bag. What, you've never brought anything on Yeah, stage, no, either? I'm excited to announce I literally got a sponsorship this week from Pepperidge Farms. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Who wants some raisin bread? <laughs> He's throwing pieces of raisin bread. <laughs> Who wants some of this shit? He's got raisin bread, ladies and gentlemen. He's throwing raisin bread into the audience. <laughs> He's really throwing it hard at the audience. Yo, better fucking watch out! He's got real life raisin bread, Pepperidge Farm swirl. Wow, that's the oh. good kind, too. That's fancy. Oh! I'm sorry! Eating it. Nobody's gonna fucking tell me to stop that. Stop that. Nobody's gonna fucking tell me to stop eating that fucking bread. I swear to God. I'm not gonna stop eating it. I'm gonna keep eating that shit. I love that stuff. I love that bread. I'll never stop. I'm gonna eat two more loaves. I love that shit. It's the best! Yes. Raisin bread! It's the best! Man, I love it! Raisin bread! Raisin swirl! That's enough. This is, this is, uh... There's nothing that's going to top that. Ladies and gentlemen, this was tonight's episode of Kill Tony! <laughs> Christina, let me just tell you what's happening here. What? So William was a party machine the whole time that we've known him. Uh, three months ago, he got sober from drinking and cocaine. Okay. Completely sober. Okay. And he filled in all of his drinking and cocaine addiction with raisin bread, it turns that out. Makes sense. And uh, William, we found out that when you quit drinking, a new addiction arose that you've been eating many loaves of raisin bread for I'm a week. St I'm still eating them. I, I, have you lost any weight since you quit drinking, or have you gained weight? I've gained weight. Wow. It does sort of look like it. How much raisin bread have you been eating this week? It literally, up to this point, if we're counting from... Let's count from Thursday, yeah. I would say. From Thursday, this is Monday, and you're starting Thursday morning. How Thursday much? morning, <laughs> it's three loaves. Three <laughs> loaves of raisin bread from Costco, right? Costco? Yeah, I can't stop. And uh, what is absolutely wild is that we've been talking about this new raisin bread addiction for a few weeks here. And by the way, on this show, I know it seems like it would be stupid for us to do it this way, but it is stupid, and we do do it this way. We don't communicate with our regulars anything that we're going to do. Nothing literally ever is yeah. ever planned. Ed! You brought raisin bread up here for the first time ever and saying that you got a sponsor from Pepperidge Farm, which is clearly a gigantic lie. Because Pepperidge I promise Farm, you, it's literally a new sponsor. Pepperidge Farm is a gigantic company. However, what's wild about this... I know, it was shocking getting the call from them. Well, <laughs> when the William jokes was, end and when they start. That's what I love, is that that's fucking true. <laughs> he now, didn't really <laughs> kill two cops, but I'd bet a million dollars that he ate three loaves of raisin bread since Thursday. Yeah. 
Do you put butter on them? Like do you... butter all over yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Where do you get the butter from? Uh, the store. I've I've started stealing butter from the store. <laughs> William Montgomery, ladies and gentlemen. We did it again. I was shocked when they fucking called. When I saw it on my caller ID, I see Pepperidge Farms. I'm like, oh my god, they're literally responding. Wow. Well, William, I was like, holy shit, how's this the, happening? By the way, my William, life's about to shut up, Red Band. Yeah, really. That's the shittiest raisin bread me. ever, though. That's the shittiest raisin bread you could ever. Okay, buy. whatever, dude. Well, what's really crazy, William. Is oh, that, my God. <laughs> is that we actually did get you a Raisin Bread sponsor. <laughs> 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 what? So, <laughs> we, we found out a few weeks ago that you have a new addiction. You stopped drinking. It's been months now. And you filled your drinking addiction with an addiction to raisin bread from H-E-B. I have. Uh, how much raisin bread did you eat this week? A loaf and a half. I'm trying to, I'm trying to wean myself off of it. It really is way too much. You've, you ate a loaf and a half. A loaf and a half What did you since... do with the other half of that one loaf? What, uh, the... I'll throw it away. You threw it away? Yeah. Did you have to like is, does that work or do you does like the trash can talk to you after that or like I know have you thought it. about perhaps <laughs> flushing it down the toilet or something like that? <laughs> <laughs> I will normally get it out of the trash can. Yeah. I can picture you doing that. That's fun. What else this week? Anything else other than raisin bread? Just a bunch of ghosts in the apartment. <laughs> Why don't we do a thing where instead of the audience catching raisin bread, you catch raisin bread, and for every raisin bread that you catch, you get to keep. How about that? <laughs> Put that. What is this raisin bread, though? This is amazing, famous Martin's potato rolls. Martin's has the number one. By the way, they're founded in 1955. They are the number one potato roll bread in the world. They're not GMO. They got a soft, pillowy texture. They're family owned and operated. And they also make the number one hamburger bun in the country. What the fuck are you reading, Red Man? Martin's potato rolls. Wow. You brought raisin bread. We brought raisin bread. This show is the dumbest show of all time. This is literally, this is like special needs Olympics, this show. So you're going to buy raisin bread this week? I probably will. I am really excited about it. I don't know if y'all eat it often. It is so delicious. How hard is your hair right now? It's as hard as a fucking rock. Yeah. Bro, if someone, would, uh, if someone got shot and a bullet went off and it would hit his head, it would ricochet off. It's a good, <laughs> it's a good solid hairdo. Yeah. I love it. I do just... Li- Honestly, I want to thank my sponsor, Beverage Farms, for getting all this done. <laughs> Martin's Potato Rolls, a local company, by the way. This guy is the king of Texas. I met him before the show. Founded in 1955. It is ranked the number one hamburger bun in the country. Family owned and operated, (laughs) non-GMO here in Austin, Don't fucking take that. Don't take that. William famously got sober. You've been off alcohol now, what, three or four months? Three months. Three months. Uh, (laughs) However, however, before you get too excited, he did fill that alcohol addiction with a raisin bread addiction. Yeah, he's been going through... Many loaves of raisin bread. This is our weekly update. How much raisin bread did you eat this week? I had two and a half loaves. (laughs) With butter? With fucking butter all over it. Oh, my God. Now I can't fucking breathe! (laughs) You're on the keto, right? Yeah, it's called keto. Two and a half loaves of H-E-B raisin bread. That is... Incredible. 
He's trying to take some of the raisins. William pie. refuses to share one loaf with the guitar player, yeah, I mean, Matt Mueling, who has an entire family, by the way. <laughs> Matt Mueling has children, <laughs> and he refuses to share a loaf of bread, everybody. This is what a star is. This is how rich... I don't give a fuck anymore! I got a brand company sponsorship! Oh, William. <laughs> William, will you roll around in that that, that Shut the fuck bread? up, Don't Red roll Man. around in the bread. Don't roll around in Can the I bread. Can I tell you what I love about you is that you're... You're what stand-up comedy should be, which is chaos and crazy. Like, you're like a fun Kyle Kinane. Yeah. You know, or like a... Yeah. Man, like, you're, you're what makes people like... like you're Watching dudes like you is why I wanted to be a comic. Yep. Because you're just like... like it's so fun. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I love you. Yeah, I love it. You. Your DNA is to be a comic. There's nothing else you're going to do with your life. You yep. know that, right? Yep. This is it. <laughs> you're fucked. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh, opening. <laughs> We've seen this before, folks. Redman, you're fucking up that stupid noise. I'm not blinking that. I'm not winking that much. 